Doing some ball joints in the 1992 Ford F-150 today. We have a Dana 44 front axle, um, fully independent front suspension. To get your truck to this point, you can just watch my replacing a front axle U-joint for 92 Ford uh, F-150 4x4. So I'm basically pick it up where that left off. I'm going to take the whole steering knuckle right off of this truck. I'm going to start with removing this tie rod end. Of course, there's a cotter pin in there that's all uh, completely rusted away. You can see there's no way in hell I'm going to get that thing out of there. So I'm just going to pound a socket right over it and I'm going to shear off the cotter pin. I just sent a pin punch through it and the rest of the cotter pin just came right out real easy. Instead of using a pickle fork here and damaging this boot on this tire end that's perfectly fine, I'm just going to beat right here on this knuckle and hope that it separates. Here's the uh, upper ball joint nut. You can see how corroded that thing is. Looks terrible. Here's the lower, same type of deal. Now I could probably clean it up and get that off of there with a socket with some effort, but uh, I'm going to do it the easy way. I'm going to use a cutting torch and I'm basically going to cut this nut in half and just knock it off with a chisel. There is a cotter pin in this uh, upper one in case you decide to get brave and try it with a socket. Here's what the nut looks like after all that. I'll see if I can separate it now with this chisel. As you can see, I actually did that without even messing up the threads. The cotter pin is actually even still intact. I'll do the same for the bottom now. So here I have two pickle forks, nice wide ones. I'm going to put the uh, flat side the pickle fork towards the side I want to save. I'm going to basically shove them both in there and beat the crap out of this thing until it comes free. You can see I've actually put a vice grip on top of uh, the ball joint so the knuckle doesn't fall to the ground. This is an alignment piece I just beat out of there. Uh, it's actually for camber. You can see the holes offset in it. And I just uh, took it out of there to free it up for my alignment guy in case he wants to put some different ones in there. This is basically what happens to rubber uh, grommets when you stick a pickle fork in there. They get ripped and they're basically toast. I'm going to start by trying to press the bottom ball joint out first. This one has a snap ring on it. I'm going to try to get that off of there. Here's my ball joint press. I'm going to go ahead and use that.
Build a slide on her. It's hard to see it. Here I've taken sandpaper and cleaned up this bore, and I've also cleaned up this ridge on top, same with the lower. Getting ready to press the new ball joint in. These ball joints are fully greasable, unlike the original non-greasable ball joints. Make some zerks. I'm going to go ahead and put the boot on now, and on the bottom I'm going to put this uh, relief for the grease towards the inside of the truck, because I can wipe it off that way. And the top I'm actually going to put it towards the outside of the truck. I'm going to go ahead and drop this uh, camber piece back in here. Same way I took it out. I'll stick the knuckle back in here. Castellate it up, goes on top. Still the little guy goes in the bottom. The bottom nut's a locking nut, so there's no counter pin. I'm going to be using an inch and eighth socket on this lower nut. It's a little loose fit, it's not the right socket, but it's going to work. And according to instructions, you start by torquing the bottom ball joint to 80 foot pounds. Now I'm going to torque the upper. I'm using an uh, inch and five sixteen socket on that. That really doesn't fit right either, but it's going to work. And I'm going to torque that to 100 foot pounds. Now I'm going to finish by torquing the bottom locking nut uh, to 90 to 110 foot pounds. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, tie rod back in. Here I got the uh, cotter pin up in my tie rod end. Um, Probably grease these next. You can grease them at the end either way, but don't forget to grease them. And then uh, that's it for the ball joint installation video. Good luck with your project.